Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pivot animator stick sword. This thingy with jigger, because if you, at the very beginning, when you first download the thing, if you go to load figure type, all you have are, if you, you only have these three and you go to stick figures, you only, you don't have this weapons thing, I'll explain that later. You have alphabet and then you only have these guys, I'll teach you what, how to mess with those later. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you how to make this little this bad boy right here. This little sword to make everything cool so that you can have weapons in the game. This is just a basic sword. I'll probably be releasing more tutorial videos on how to make even better weapons. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on add figure and you're going to go to default. Because with the default character you get from the from from the stick figure a sword will arise. And then you're going to click on this little pencil thing that says edit figure type. Uh, click on this and it basically brings you into this little stick figure builder thing. And you're going to click and you're going to full screen it. And then put them in the center. Then you're going to click on this delete segment thing until you have one segment left because this segment is the right size that we need. Alright. Alright, keep it approximately around this size. Okay. Now you're going to add two extra lines to make the, um, you're going to make the sword hilt, and yes. Alright, so now we got these three sword hilts. So, now what we're going to do is you're going to click on this and you're going to do, um, X. You're going to click on static. I'll tell you what the static thing does later. You're going to click on this red dot and you're going to call it static. And then this red dot. Well, this one actually. Yes, you're going to click static on this as well. That means it's wiggly. Okay. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to draw a line doesn't matter what size because you're going to be able to edit the size in the studio All right then you're going to you've got that size now you're going to like adjust it until it looks right to you you're going to click on this and then you're also going to static so now you can adjust the thickness and you kinda wanna make this pretty thin I'll tell you why in a minute so now you're going to click alright then this one let's keep a little now you're going to click on these two little segments here and you're going to divide them in half so that you have now have one, two, three, four, five static segments here and this re really long static thing so now what you're going to do is you're going to click on add line but alright before I do this you, ho you have to make sure you have this line selected then you'll press add line because that will default the thickness to this size and then you're going to put it and approximately where the center thingy is and then you're going to do it and then you're going to select the middle one again click on this and then bring it to approximately where that static symbol is okay. then you're going to want to adjust it the best you can so that these two white spaces, white spaces look symmetrical As long as these black lines don't protrude and make it look off balance. So now what you're going to do is this is this so you can actually stop here if you want your sword to be like clear. You can stop here. All you have to do next. Uh actually don't stop here. One last thing if you're going to if you just want a clear sword, you're gonna have the static this static this and then you'll create a teeny tiny circle. Well, really tiny circle right there. Then you're not gonna static that. All right. If this is what you want, you can just do file. All right. S uh, save. Yeah, all right. So now what you're gonna do is you go to pivot animator, stick figures. Uh, and you're gonna make a new file called weapons. I'm gonna click on weapons, and this is where you're going to add. All right. Let's do this to. Clear, clear sword. 
then you're going to click save. Right now, you're going to go file, open, clear sword. Right. Though you don't, so don't, like, open it, don't open it. You're just, you just do the open. Two, give you a tiny preview so to see if you're happy with it, so that while you're still in this editing thing, you can edit it. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to exit out. And then you're going to close this. Alright, your stick figure is going to be here. Still going to be here, it doesn't matter. Alright, so let's let's have a duel of swords. Alright. Put them together. Okay, now we're going to go to File. And click Load Figure Type. And if you haven't already, Pivot Animator, Stick Figures, Weapons, it should automatically open. You're going to go click on Clear Sword, Open. This is the size it should be at. Now this red dot here, you need this red dot so you can change the size and rotate it. Alright. Like this. So you click on Alt, and then you grab this red dot, and then you can change the size by moving your mouse upwards, or you can rotate it by moving it from side to side. So if this is what you want, you can just end the video here and make this sword, but I'm also going to teach you how to make this completely dark sword too. Right now what you're going to do is you're going to go I'm gonna go to file, actually you're going to, oh, yeah, file, create figure type, and it should automatically open this sword. Okay, so first you're, you have to make sure that you already saved this, this, this style, because we're about to screw it up, so... Save clear sword so that we have this. Now we're going to make something else. So now you're going to click on this uh, add circle. I'm going to grab the center. And you're going to keep going until it like fills it up. Alright, now you're going to click on this button, which is change circle fill. You're going to click it once, and it should fill it up. And when you enlarge it, it won't really do anything. Alright. Now we're going to static this. Because we already have this tiny red dot here. Okay, now we're going to do it again. Add circle. Alright, you're going to keep going until it fills it all up, actually. You can... Alright, right there. Ah, dang it. Right there. Click it once. Now it's full. Then you're going to static it. This keep doing this until your sword is completely full and filled alright let's do that even if it doesn't look like there's any hole in there you still want to press this because it might barely show up as a tiny tiny dot in the animation software but you can't see anything when loading this so now we're going to click on add circle again And then click it once. Static. Add circle again. Uh, click once. And. Ah! Stop it, dog! Sorry, my dog's going insane. Uh, click once. And static. Do this. Keep, keep going until you filled up all the white spot. Even though this might take really long because I don't want. This, even though I could have just done that, I really don't want it to do this and make my sword look weird. Uh, click once. Static. Alright, now everything is in place. And here you have this, and now you're going to go to File, Save. Oh, crud. I think I just screwed up our clear sword. Darn it. Well, I'll fix that later. Don't click Save. Don't click Save. Click Save As. Then change this to basic sword. Save. File that name already exists. Uh, no. Let's go. File save as um filled sword. Mm. Also, if you're wondering what this basic sword is, it's basically the same thing, just a test subject. And now we got that. And exit. All right. So let's. Add figure. Uh, not that sword. Right now, we need to see if everything is working all right. But let's get clear. Sword. Ah, poop. 
Okay, I'll fix that later. But don't make my mistake. If you did make my mistake, just go back and delete this by doing delete. And then redo the first step on how to make the clear sword. Here's the filled sword. Open up. And here you go. Alt, grab the red dot, and you can move it around. Even though there will be some white spots. Then if, you're, if you have major OCD, you can fi fill them in. But for now, we got our sword. So yeah, that's the tutorial video on how to make a basic sword in Pivot Animator. I hope you enjoy. Bye. Bye, bye.